A warning, this following video review by Wasbinator is for audiences 13 and over. Mm, maximum scum. Hello friends, I'm Bolt Matrix, and today we're taking a look at something completely different. I recently picked up some Beast Blocks, Beast Blocks, from BigBadToyStore.com. Today we're taking a look at Beast Block 12, Darknet, and Beast Block, Beast Box 11, Trident. Have I been saying Beast Blot? Beast Blot, yes. <laughs> anyway, the first one is Darknet. It is a red and multicolored spider, and then Trident is a crayfish. The thing with this line is all the toys turn into blocks. They turn into blocks and then can be stored in these box chargers. <laughs> I love this. This is so stupid. They can all be stacked on top. I'm not sure how high you can go, but I think you could go pretty high. And popping them out of the box is pretty darn easy. You just open the lid and then there's the block or box. Beast box, not beast blocks. You know, one of these days I'm going to get the pronunciation of things correct. Here are the back of the boxes. There's Darknet and there's Trident. One word of warning, the back of the box for Trident isn't completely accurate to the figure. I, th I think the coloring is a little bit off. Speaking of Trident, the block mode is very blocky. And if you're wondering, hey, doesn't this just unfold into a crayfish? Yeah, it pretty much does. Now, it could be called a crawfish. I'm not going to judge. So to start with, come to the side that's pointing towards the head and fold out the, well, head and the mandibles. Then we can fold out the claws, come to the back and flip out the tail and then unfold the tail, flip out the little legs, and then flip around the arms, and actually fold out the pincers. And then this whole section... Oh, that's right, I forgot. There's a whole folding thing happening in here, around here that I completely forgot about. This whole thing folds out. Oh, and then we can fold these side panels in. I completely forgot about that. I was wondering why that wasn't working correctly. Flip that around. Flip the pincer around. And then just pose it up. Oh, and don't forget the pincer on this side. Fold that up. And there we have Trident, the crawfish. Oh, and we can come in here and kind of fix the legs a little bit. Unfortunately, in the in the actual craw daddy or crawfish mode, it doesn't really pose all that well. You kind of got to futz around with things, and it doesn't really pose all that well. But it is cool. I mean, how many crawfish transformers can you think of on the top of your head? I mean, heck, there aren't even that many lobsters. There's a few scorpions here and there, but not much. So, Size-wise, the deluxe Earthrise Cliff Jumper can surf on the crawfish which is probably the coolest thing that this thing can do. It's very tall. I mean, we're, we're talking about a, a big, tall crawdaddy here that could also be, like, armor for Cliff Jumper. Okay, I, I admit, that's pretty funny. Next up is Darknet, the spider. Transformation is pretty easy. Come under where the obvious legs are. Obvious legs are obvious. And then fold out the front head, and then reach behind and flip out the rear of the bug mode. And then there's this little slider back here. You want to slide that up, because if you don't, things aren't going to work all that well. And then you could just spread the legs apart and pose the legs like that. And we got this cute little spider bot. This thing looks like a little like a little drone or something that you might see in, I don't know, Ghost in the Shell standalone complex. I really dig it. I, I I dig this. This is just super, super cool. It does have one party favor that I like a lot. There is a little turnstile back here. And if I could just get my finger on it, there is a little hook that we can deploy. And stupid me, you have to grab the or push that whole canister down, and that will actually push the little hook out of the way. So you've got this little spider hook 
that you can dangle him from. Now, according to the directions, you're supposed to be dangling that whole figure from a, an entire collection of those boxes, but I only have two, so we'll just have to play around a little bit so we can hook it up, and then uh, I need to find a box here. There we go. As you can see, I've got it dangling up there, and I'm holding it because it'll fall over if not, if I don't do that, but yeah, dangles quite nicely. I like these two. I think they're a lot of fun. They're something different, and like I said, picked them up at the Big Bad Toy Store. Now, the coloring that I mentioned earlier, you see, in all the pictures for Trident, it was a much more vibrant red, not this darker red. Now, this darker red is definitely reminiscent of an actual crawfish or crayfish or crawdaddy or crawdad, but I thought it was going to be a more vibrant red. Eh, no biggie. Not a big deal. As I've as stated earlier, transformations are pretty darn easy. It's just getting things lined up that is the hard part. And on Trident specifically, the directions are a little bit confusing as to what you're supposed to do with the with the claws. It's not entirely clear that you're supposed to completely collapse it like this, fold it down, and then the actual claw will peg in to this section up here. And it's also never really clear on how things totally line up, but once you figure it out, it goes together pretty easily. I, I genuinely like these. I'm interested in picking more up. There is a blue crab. There is a crab that is going to be released soon that I've got my eye on. It's available for pre-order over at the Big Bad Toy Store. Uh, I might pick that one up. I might not because it only comes in green and red and not my uh, delicious blue crab that uh, Baltimore is famous for. But we shall see. Ah, I'm having trouble here. Okay, that's not exactly a box, but you get the idea. Ah, come on. Come on, feet. Work with me here. All right, for the spider, slide that up, pull that out, flip it around and underneath, and make sure that the claw is sectioned away. Take the head, kind of push the pincers down. Actually, I think we're supposed to fold the... Yep, that's right. The pincers will peg in to those sections. Fold these down, and then just toes will actually connect on the other legs like so and there we go so yeah these are a lot of fun pretty cheap uh price is reasonable totally worth picking up follow the link down in the description and while you're down there follow me over on patreon is your help every month helps keep the lights on thank you so much for watching i've been ball matrix i'll catch you next time